Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a display case of Pokemon Go Pokeball tins. Now this is one of the newly released products for the special expansion Pokemon Go. Official release date for these tins would be August 26, 2022. Official release date for the Pokemon Go expansion, July 1st, 2022. So I did purchase this display case from Collector's Cash for $64.99. Each of these Pokeball tins includes three Pokemon Go booster packs as well as some Pokemon stickers. MSRP for these tins, $12.99. So as you can see, there's two each of the Pokeball, Ultra Ball, and Great Ball. We'll see how the opening goes. I may open up three of these, one of each style of Pokeball, may open all six. Hopefully I'll pull some fire early on and be able to keep some of these items sealed. And I do apologize, it has been a little bit since I posted a new video on my channel. Now of course with Lost Origin being released very soon in September, I'll have plenty of openings in the near future. I've even been able to pre-order Silver Tempest, the set coming out in November. So I'll just open up one Pokeball tin at a time. I'll start with my favorite of the three in the Ultra Ball. So of course I have my Eevee playmat there from the premium collection box. I have my scissors handy, but usually there's a perforated edge here that you can just pull and then slowly unwrap the plastic. I was reading an article on a Limitless TCG before I started this video and Robin Schultz on there actually was a big fan of this special expansion. A lot of times special expansions aren't that great. They're a little bit smaller of a set. This set is a little bit larger. What is there? 88 total cards in the set. You can see it close here. It looks like the text has been printed from the outside of it. So if I change that here, you can see A22 made in China, of course. But if I open it up here, you might be able to hear my daughter, Mia, crying upstairs. It's supper time for her, and I'm sure Carla's not getting her food quick enough to her. Mia's almost 11 months already. She's teething right now, so she's not in the best of mood. All right, so inside the Pokeball tin there, we have two stickers. And then we have a special code for the Pokemon Go actual mobile game. So there you go. And then the three booster packs are unfortunately shoved into these tins. They're a little bit scrunched, but there would be the three booster packs. And before I get to opening, I will jump on over to the price guide on TCG Player. You can see what the prices are for cards in this set. And prices have changed a little bit since I've done a video on Pokemon Go. The Mewtwo V-Star, the Rainbow Rare, is the most valuable card in the set at almost $50. Now Mewtwo V-Star is pretty good overall it can do major damage fairly quickly so it is a more competitive card the card i'd like to pull most would be that mewtwo v the alternate full art a beautiful looking card and of course my favorite card in the entire set that radiant charizard which may be the most competitive card in the set another powerful attacker so let's see what happens and i'll get to opening up the booster packs it is nice, and I'll talk about it a little bit as I open some of these packs. My local Walmart always has products in stock. Prices have started to come back down online. I've actually seen a lot of the online card shops that popped up during the pandemic. Some are starting to fall to the wayside. Of course, there is easy money to be made with all of the demand during the pandemic that's starting to die off so some of these sites like a collector's cash like a troll and toe that have been around for a long time those ones will stick around and some of the other newer ones might not stick around all right first pack starts with larvitar numal bulbasaur onyx biberel grass type energy zatu pokestop slowbro 
And this actually is a pretty good card. I was reading as I went by. So stage one for slow bro, but twilight inspiration. For two colorless energy, you can use this attack only if your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining to take two prize cards. So a good way to essentially end the game for you with a non GX or V or V star or anything like that. War Turtle would be the reverse hollow and uncommon. You are guaranteed a rare haul at the very least in every pack. This pack has a Glycopod. All three Radiant Pokemon in the set, of course, Radiant Pokemon come in that reverse hollow spot. Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Those are beautiful looking cards. I am excited to open up Lost Origin. September 9th. I believe this Friday is the official release date for the set. Another set that includes the Trainer Gallery subset. Alolan Raticate starts the second pack. Tranquil, Larvitar, Natu, Ambipom, Fire Type Energy, Slowbro, Candela, Lunatone, Reverse Holloway, Blissey. This would be a rare, nice. And then the final card would be a Moltres. Legendary bird there, and I think this set overall does have a lot of appeal to collectors out there and just Pokemon fans in general. That's why the Pokemon Go mobile game really caught on in the early stages because it was a blast of nostalgia with that first generation of Pokemon in the game. Final pack here, hoping for something good. One out of three packs is ideal for the pull rate. Larvitar starts the final pack in the Ultra Ball tin. Natu. Ambipom. Slowpoke. Bibarel. Darkness type energy. Candela. Charmeleon. Charizard in this set is pretty cool looking artwork wise. Lure module. Reversal of a Radiant Venusaur. There we go. There's the one good pull. Now, Venusaur is usually the least popular of the three stage two starters from the first generation. In this set, the Radiant Pokemon, Venusaur is the worst, unfortunately. But a very cool card. And then the final card would be a Melmetal. So essentially that Radiant Venusaur and then the rare Reverse Hollow of Blissey. If you want to save time at the end of this video, I'll summarize all of my good pulls from... I would say probably three tins. I do like to keep products sealed in my collection. And as far as investing goes, sealed products really are the easiest way to get a big return on your investment. I would recommend going out and just buying a booster box and keeping it sealed. Booster box is easily the best way to make a profit if you're looking to hold cards long term. I do have a book out there, Pokemon Cards, the unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. So if you're looking for tips on buying or selling Pokemon cards, there is a link in the description of this video. So I will show the codes and then I'll get to opening the packs. Same stickers there. I don't really have much use for the actual tins. These ones, unfortunately, are a little bit damaged, dinged up. I've actually seen in stores like a Walmart where you go there and the only tins that are left in the display are the ones that have been dented, which happen. That is for sure. So there would be the three codes. Speaking of codes, I was lucky enough from the Pokemon Center to actually get two of these special delivery Charizard codes. And you can tell the state of the Pokemon TCG. I've not pulled the trigger on buying anything from the Pokemon Center yet just because everything I can find for much less than MSRP outside of the Pokemon Center's website. So I was trying to pre-order some items and get the code to work, but you have to actually buy something that's in stock right now. Carla was able to get a code and then myself. Pretty cool looking card. I was able to get the special delivery Pikachu. Missed out on the special delivery Bidoof, however. Slowpoke starts this pack. Bidoof. I have to watch for Magikarp. Magikarp. I have to watch for Ditto. I should go back and look at some of the reverse hollows. If it has Ditto at the bottom left, that is 
a ditto undisguised. You peel off that sticker on the top to reveal a ditto. Now, Magikarp is a pretty powerful card for once in the entire Pokemon TCG with Raging Fin. This attack does 30 more damage to each Magikarp and Gyarados in your discard pile. And ditto actually works very well with this card. Apom, Meltan, Water Type Energy, Pokestop, Lure Module, Camerupt, Reverse Hollow of a Magikarp, a common, and the final card would be a Venusaur. I have missed making some videos on YouTube. I've mentioned before, it is getting more and more expensive just to live life. And of course with a baby so I'm trying to just be a little bit smarter on what I purchase and open up and I've just opened so many packs of fusion strike and battle styles and chilling rain all these little one-off products are coming out just have those same boosters pack sets over and over and over again Meltan starts this one Magikarp Eevee Pikachu Squirtle Grass type energy Lure module Charmeleon, Pupitar, Alolan Rattata would be the reverse solo, and then a Pikachu as the final card. Unfortunately, not any ultra rares or secret rares. I might have to dig into more than three of these Pokeball tins. Unfortunately, nothing in that final spot in a pack yet. I'm going to try and keep some of the Pokemon Go products I have sealed just because with the potential of that Radiant Charizard and Mewtwo's very collectible. This is a set worth holding on to. Bidoof starts this pack. The final one in the Great Ball tin. Magikarp. Pidov. Onix. Eevee. Psychic type energy. Zatu. Slowbro. Lunatone. Reverse Hollow of a Charizard. Thought it might have been that Radiant Charizard at first, but this is a very cool looking Charizard. Love the city skyline in the background. And then the final card would be a Galisopod. So that was 0 for 3 essentially in that Great Ball tin. Hopefully I'll pick the right Pokeball tin. Otherwise, I will be digging into the other set of three. So go back to this view. See if I can quickly get this opened up. Now I'm actually recording this video on Labor Day here in the United States. Hopefully most of you watching that work full-time jobs are able to get this day off. I know Carla, my wife, is a registered nurse so the way they do it where she works is every other holiday you get off so Labor Day was her holiday to get off. Of course I work for a school district so we always get Labor Day off, and the public school that I work at usually starts the day after Labor Day. I work at the elementary school, so they actually have back-to-school conferences for the first two days. The high school starts Tuesday, and then the elementary school starts Thursday. Sort of a stressful month, the month of August. For myself, we're working on getting the school ready for the upcoming school year. We pull out all the furniture and everything from every single classroom in the entire school and then essentially redo the floors in every single classroom. We do that every single summer. So it is very hectic the final month of the summer in August trying to get everything done in time for all the teachers and everyone to return. Okay, this pack, it starts with Meltan. Eevee, Pikachu, Squirtle, Spinarak, Fighting Type Energy, Unpheasant, Blanche, Eridos, Reverse Hall of an Unpheasant, an Uncommon, and the final card, nice, a Dragonite V-Star. I am a fan of Dragonite. It is one of my favorite first generation Pokemon ever since I was able to level it up to 100 in Pokemon Crystal, so I think I traded for it in that game, but it was the Pokemon that took down my neighbor, a classmate of mine, a longtime friend, Eric. He played the games more than I did, and his team was pretty good, but 
I just had a couple of level 100 Pokemon, Dragonite included. I had Dragonite and Fraligator at that time, and I was able to take down his entire team just with those two level 100 Pokemon. He had several Pokemon in the level 70s and 80s, so it was no match for my team. Alolan Rattata starts this one. Middle pack of the three, Wimpod, Pikachu, Squirtle, Meltan, Fire-type Energy, Steelix, Zatu, Slowbro, Reverse Hall of a Pokestop, an Uncommon, and the final card, a Conkledur V. So all of the good pulls coming in the potentially final tin, but I think I might open up another one just because I'm on the hunt for that Mewtwo, the alternate art, full art. Final pack here, and then I think I will open at least one more tin. I'll jump back to the Ultra Ball. Just assuming that both Pokeball tins won't have good pulls in them, since this one probably the best of the three so far that I've opened up. Charmander starts this pack. Bidoof. Wimpod. Pidov. Magikarp flailing around. Psychic type energy. Charmeleon. Egg Incubator. War Turtle. Reverse Hall of a Charmander, a common. And the final card would be a Zapdos. Of course, in the Pokemon Go mobile game, I was the team based around Articuno, Team Mystic. So there is the 110 I'm not going to open up for sure. I'll start with the Ultra Ball one. I'm going to open them up until I hit something good. So let's see what happens here. And I would like to thank those brand new to my channel and those just starting to watch my videos. I do try and be as informational as possible in my videos. Would like to be more into the competitive scene than I am right now. The pandemic really put really a vice grips, a clamp on sort of my competitive play, plus having a baby does that to me as well. All right, opening up the Ultra Ball one, I can give away those codes as well again. See, boy, I, I always have trouble with these tins. There you go. Just have to get it perfectly lined up, and then you can actually close the tin. All right. There would be the three codes. Like I said, today was Labor Day. And actually, Carla, Mia, and then my in-laws went to the Grotto in West Bend, Iowa. It was neat there. It's just a church that was built entirely out of rocks. And before Mia was born, actually my mom and then Carla went there. So then we took Mia now that she's out of the womb. All right, let's start to get something good here. A V-Star, not that rare. There are only two V-Star in this set in Mewtwo and Dragonite. Eevee starts this pack. Pikachu, Squirtle, Magikarp, Meltan, Lightning-type Energy, Ivysaur, Spark, Chansey, Reverse Hall of an Eevee, Checking for that ditto down there. And then the final card would be Moltres. Besides just working a lot during the month of August, I've really hit the running hard. I really enjoy running. Way to exercise, of course, and then just sort of relax at the end of the day. My best week, probably all summer. I ran 45 miles in one week. Not looking forward to the winter here. I have a treadmill I can run on, but I prefer running outside. Way back when I was in high school, I ran outside, and I ran on the sidewalk, went into the street, and then went up to the next sidewalk, jumped over the curb. There was a patch of ice there and fell right down. I was okay, but I gave myself a good laugh. Bidoof starts this pack, middle pack of the three. Wimpod, Pidove, Magikarp, Meltan, that V star marker instead of an energy card, rare candy. War Turtle, Candela, Reverse Hall of a Lunatone, and then the final card would be an Articuno. That Lunatone and Uncommon, still not much. And that's what I've been told by some of my viewers that they're not a fan of the Pokemon Go Special Expansion because 
the poor race just aren't that great. Now, I've not had that bad of luck with the set, but this particular opening, it does seem like the poor race are a little bit worse. Onyx to start this one. Bibarel. Slowpoke. Bidoof. Magikarp. Metal type energy. Lunatone. Pokestop. Lure module. Reverse Hall of a Meltan, a Common, and the final card would be a Melmetal. So we're going basic to stage one to end the pack. Let's open up that Great Ball tin next. So I think I am going to open up all six here. Like I said, I was able to purchase this display case for $64.99. I just looked on essentially Google before I made this video just a Google search and I saw a couple of websites selling these for $49.99. You can find a lot of the Pokemon Go products for pretty cheap. I know the gift tins out there, $12, $13 instead of $20 a piece. I've actually seen some Walmart stores having those gift tins on clearance for very, very cheap. Every time I go to my local Walmart, I always think maybe I'll be lucky enough and find those gift tins on clearance. My Walmart has a few gift tins, but $19.97, I think, they're full price there. All right, so here would be the codes again. And then the three booster packs. Let's get these open up. Still, I'm hoping for that Mewtwo, the Radiant Charizard, would be nice. My brother, my youngest brother, actually bought a Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. He pulled out the alternate art Mewtwo. Okay, this pack, it starts with Pidove, Alolan Rattata, Wimpod, Pikachu, Squirtle, Psychic-type Energy, Blanche, Unpheasant, Solrock, Reverse Sol of a Natu, just a common, and then the final card would be a Blissey. Now, of course, the World Championships this year has concluded... I think next year they're supposed to be in Japan, but there's not been a standard format rotation at all. I think that's partly due to the pandemic, just allowing a little more cars into the standard format. Okay, this pack, it starts with Slowpoke, Bibarel, Spinarak, Padov, Ololan Rattata, Metal-type Energy, Zatu, Blanche, Soul Rock, Reverse Hollow of a Pupitar. This would be an uncommon. And the final card would be a Dragonite V. So now I have the V and the V Star. Of course, Dragonite first in the Fossil expansion. That hollow foil card has sort of a rainbow pattern to it. I actually had lots of graded cards from both Fossil and Team Rocket. I opened up first edition booster boxes of both on my channel way back in the day sent all those hollow cards in to get graded I actually sold a majority of my graded cards during the pandemic the market was way up and then I actually invested that money into my house and put new windows and siding on it not two stars this one ambipom slowpoke bibarel spinarak water type energy war turtle Rare Candy, useful to get to Blastoise in this set, Camerupt, Charmander a Common, and then the final card, that Blastoise I was talking about. Now, if you can quickly set up this Blastoise, it has an amazing ability on it, minus it ends your turn. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to six energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. If you use this ability, your turn ends. But a great way to just quickly set up your bench. I know Arceus V Star, another great way to get energy into play. Let's see if I can hit on both Pokeball tins. So, final Pokemon Go Pokeball tin. It's the actual Pokeball. So I could throw it. I choose you, Charizard, Mewtwo. Who knows? I know that's an idea that Carla had actually is she wants to get the starter plush from the first generation and then put those on the floor and have Mia crawl to the one that she likes most. Now normally myself I like water type Pokemon. 
but in the first generation i would choose charmander to get to charizard charizard of course my favorite pokemon of all time all right let's see if i can get this on there very quickly there we go show the codes and then get to opening the final packs really not anything too great from six times three 18 packs essentially half of a booster box I have a mess to clean up on the floor there. I can add some of these stickers to a lucky custodian's closet there at the elementary school. I have quite the collection of stickers on his closet. All right, so the final three packs. Like I said, I will be opening up the other Pokemon Go products I have not opened up so far on my channel. I believe the pin collections I have to open up still. And then all of the Lost Origin products that are released i have pre-ordered it is nice to be able to pre-order things and booster box prices are starting to come back down 99.99 is what i've been able to order the next two sets for elite trainer boxes 29.99 all day long okay final 10 in this opening starts with tranquil larvitar natu ambipom slowpoke fire type energy chansey ivysaur Moon Pheasant, Reverse Soul of an Eridos, and Uncommon, and then Tyranitar, the final card. Really reminds me of Dark Tyranitar from Neo Destiny. It was cool way back in the day. If only I had money back then. But there was a garage sale here in town. Actually, I was able to purchase several cards, but they had several hollow cards for a quarter apiece from all the older sets, I think from base set up to the Neo series of sets, even some first edition cards. I know I picked up a first edition Blaine's Charizard for only a quarter. Some of my favorite cards in my collection came from that garage sale. Pidove starts this pack. Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Bidoof, Onyx, Grass-type Energy, Pupitar, Wartortle, Pokestop, Reverse Hall of an Apom. Sometimes this, I believe, is a Ditto, but not in this case. This is a Common. And then Gyarados as the final card. So final pack. Unfortunately, I think the hunt for that Mewtwo will continue. It has been an elusive card for me to collect. I know I was able to pick up. I think I bought three at a time, but the Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Boxes for... Normally they're $49.99. I think I picked them up for, it seems like $32.99. Oh boy, I can see a dark edge back there. So maybe something good, a good way to end this opening. Final pack, it starts with Meltan, Squirtle, Tranquil, Charmander, Eevee, Darkness-type Energy, Steelix, Zatu, Lunatone, Reverse Soul of a Blastoise, not bad. This is a rare. And the final card would be a Melmetal VMAX. So a good way to end this opening. Give me a moment and I will summarize all of my pulls. All right, from the six Pokemon Go Pokeball tins, several cards to summarize. I was able to pull out three rare Reverse Soul of in Charizard, Blissey, and Blastoise. Easily my favorite pull of the opening would be the Radiant Venusaur, the shiny form of Venusaur. These are tough to pull. Was able to pull out two Pokemon V and Dragonite, and then Conkledor, and then one each of a V-Star and a V-Max. So Dragonite for the V-Star, and then the Melmetal for the V-Max. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video if you would like to support my channel. I have a book out there, Pokemon Cards, the Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. I have a link to my Patreon if you would like to support me on there, becoming a patron of mine. Of course, I have my PayPal if you would like to donate directly to me. But the easiest thing to support my channel is to subscribe, leave a like on this video, and then you can always comment letting me know what you think of this video. So I'm, be, I'm glad to be back making some videos. I have a lot of new products to open in the very near future. So I look forward to 
open, opening some Lost Origin products. So thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.